हाय यू नो कुआ कुआ मीन्स जहां से पानी निकलता है ओके सो फ्रॉम कुआ मीन्स वेल फ्रॉम द वेल वी कैन टेक आउट वाटर वी कैन गेट वाटर इन टू वेज हाउ द फर्स्ट वेज यू आर एप्लाइंग द फोर्स अपवर्ड ओके नंबर टू you are applying the force downwards okay but for us for us the applying the force downwards is easy understood if you apply the force this way upward and if you are applying the force downwards then downwards become easier for us okay but to take out the water But to get the water, you are applying the force downwards. Okay. For that, we require a special type of will. Okay, special type of will. That will will help you to change the direction of the force. Yes, because see, you are applying the force upward, and in the second case, you are applying the force downwards. so the force which is required to be applied upward you are changing the direction of that force by changing it towards downwards okay so we required a special type of will we call it pulley okay i will draw it for you just see what i was saying that this is the bucket okay filled with water fine now we can take the bucket we can take the bucket upward okay upward direction fine we can apply the force this way so i am applying the force upward direction and as i told you if you are applying the force upward direction the things become little tough instead of applying the force upward if you apply the force downward then this becomes easier so we have to take that particular will which we will call pulley so here i am adjusting a pulley okay and this rope this rope which is fitted with the bucket this rope i will take it this way yes okay and this will is fitted with a rigid support okay here it is a rigid support is there and this will or the pulley is fixed with this rigid support got it and we are applying the force downward we are applying the force downwards okay so instead of applying this force upwards i am applying the force downwards got it no see one thing here if i cut from here if i cut from here what will happen the bucket will fall down okay so we can say that this load is equal to this force no the load is equal to this force correct understood now so what is the mechanical advantage of it we know that mechanical advantage equal to load by effort okay so what is the load here load and what is the effort here this is the effort load and effort okay now just think in this way in which direction the load is working load is working downwards because of gravity gravity the load is working downwards load is working downwards okay and there is a tension of the rope okay there is a tension of the rope see the rope i am holding it upward but the load is working downwards so there is a tension working in the rope so this tension is t okay tension is t now this effort also i am working downward okay 
downward but do you think that this is easy means easily you can make it down no you require some force why you require some force because there is another tension which is working upward okay there is another tension which is working upward you understood this point i was telling you that whether this by using this rope can i easily make it down no i have to give some force why i am giving some force because there is a tension working upward there is a tension working upward okay so i can say that my load is equal to this force c load is equal to this force means tension load is equal to tension and this effort is also equal to tension okay effort is also equal to tension so tt cancel that is 1 so mechanical advantage is 1 correct now we got mechanical advantage now just think on this if here is the rope if i take this point here okay here say x distance if i take this rope okay the rope is here now i am taking the point this point here okay from here to here which is x say x meter okay x meter now can you answer me by what distance the bucket will go up because this rope is coming down so obviously the bucket will go up by what distance the bucket will go up the bucket will go up by same distance if it is coming down then it will go up so the bucket will cover a particular distance that is also x okay so we call it displacement of effort so i can say that displacement of effort is x and displacement of load is also x okay and we know that displacement of effort by displacement of load is called velocity ratio yes so velocity ratio equal to displacement of effort by displacement of load what is displacement of effort x what is displacement of load x that is 1 so this is 1 okay so what is the efficiency of this pulley efficiency we know that efficiency equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100 no mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100 that is the formula to find yes efficiency so what is mechanical advantage 1 what is the velocity ratio 1 so 1 by 1 into 100 that is 100% so 100% is the yes is the efficiency of this type of pulley now see how many pulleys i have used here only one that is single pulley i have used but this pulley is fixed here this pulley is fixed with this rigid support it's fixed so we call it single fixed pulley got it so we'll write here it is single fixed pulley doubt we'll go for another type of pulley now okay we will use this single pulley only but that pulley will be fitted in different way now see how what i'm doing here now i will take this rigid support okay rigid support and here is the pulley okay now the pulley is not fixed okay here the pulley was fixed but here the pulley is not fixed okay the pulley can go up and down okay but here what i am doing this rope is fixed this rope is fixed okay this rope is fixed understood and with this pulley i am connecting the load okay this is the load same bucket okay same bucket i am connecting this bucket is connected with the center of the pulley center of the pulley and this rope is fixed here okay now just see here in this direction i will apply the force sorry i will apply the effort 
this direction I will apply the effort okay and this is the load okay now if I cut from here if I cut from here what happens the load will fall obviously if I cut from here the load will fall got it and if I cut from here again the load will fall that means this load is this load is depending on both the tensions both the tensions means this is a tension this is the direction okay and this is another tension okay another tension and load is connecting with both the tensions so i can say that load is 2t here load is 2t this load is depending on both the tensions why both the tensions because if i connect from cut from here the load will fall down if i cut from here the load will fall so load is depending on both the tensions so that's why load equal to 2t got it and effort this effort is only one single t effort equal to only single t okay this is the effort c single t got it because you are applying the force from this way now why we are using this pulley why we are not using this pulley actually there is a benefit of using this pulley you know what the benefit is here the load is 2t whereas the effort is only t means you are using say 5 newton force but you are getting 10 newton force understood i repeat you are applying a force of 5 newton but you are getting a force of 10 newton double but here if you are using 5 newton you will get 5 newton okay 5 newton 5 newton but here 5 newton 10 newton it's getting double so here is this is more benefited okay now to have this benefit you also have to remember that in this case first in this case if you if you pull the effort by say 1 meter the load will also go 1 meter but here if you displace the effort by 2 meter the load will get 1 meter okay half okay you have to displace the effort by 2 meter then the load will go 1 meter okay if you are this if you are displacing the effort by 2 meter the load will go 1 meter half understood so we can write that displacement of effort is 2x if you go it if you take it 2x then it will go x understood if you take the effort 2x okay the load will go only x but here if you take the effort x load will go x okay but here effort is 2x then load will go x so displacement of effort is 2x the displacement of load will be x okay if you have got any doubt on this portion just rewatch the video you will understand the thing okay now so what is the mechanical advantage mechanical advantage equal to load by effort load by effort that is 2t by t that is 2 what is the velocity ratio velocity ratio equal to displacement of effort by displacement of load displacement of effort by displacement of load that is 2x by x that is 2 okay so what is the what is the efficiency efficiency is mechanical advantage by velocity ratio into 100 so that is 2 by 2 2 by 2 into 100 that is 100 percent okay so 100 percent is the efficiency of single fixed pulley efficiency of this pulley is called is 100 percent okay that is also 100 percent that is also 100 percent this is single fixed pulley and we call it single movable pulley why movable because here the pulley is going up and down with the pulley the load is also going up and down okay here it is fixed here the pulley is not fixed 
सो सिंगल फिक्स पुली सिंगल मूवेबल पुली अंडरस्टैंड सिंगल मूवेबल पुली गॉट इट नाउ एस आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग दैट एप्लाइंग द फोर्स दिस वे इज टफ बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस यू आर एप्लाइंग द फोर्स डाउनवर्ड्स इट्स इजी सो व्हाट वी डू यू नो here the force is upward so just to make it more easier more easier we will connect a single fixed pulley here okay we'll connect one single fixed pulley here this is the single fixed pulley and what we'll do we'll connect this rope this way see now you can apply the force downward okay Fantastic. Understood. So here we can apply the force downwards. And remember, by attaching this pulley, will not disturb any calculation of this pulley because this single fixed pulley is used to change the direction upward and downward. Just to change the direction. So why I am using this so that I can make it downwards. Got it? So this is the construction, and this is the numerical or mathematical explanation of single fixed pulley and single movable pulley. Okay, if you are finding this topic difficult for you, just re-watch the video. You will understand everything. Got it? We'll meet in the next video. Thank you all.